Only on two, people in West Lawn are livid after someone went through their alley cutting down or damaging home security cameras. But still, the crimes were caught on camera, and CBS 2's Tim McNicholas explains how many homes were hit. Security video sent to us shows someone yanked down a camera around 8 a.m. Friday. Another clip shows how two more cameras were damaged nearby. They're, they're causing a lot of property damage. This man asked to stay anonymous for fear of retaliation. He tells me his camera was damaged, and he later heard from several others in West Lawn that were also victims. Eight different houses, because it was eight different videos that I was able to see. This image appears to show them holding some kind of knife to cut the cords. He looks like, I don't, I, I'd say... Uh, between 13 and 18, honestly, he looks very young. For him to be caught up in doing something like this, it's just, it's, it ain't right. He worries the cameras may have been cut because criminals are preparing for a more serious crime. I feel like uh, if, if this was uh, gang related, he was told by somebody else to do this uh, so they can coordinate something else. Now we have learned that 18 hours after those cameras were damaged, police responded to a call of shots fired right in that same area, west of Marquette Park. Now some of the neighbors are wondering whether that was related. Police say they didn't find any gunshot victims, they didn't find any property damage, but they did find two shell casings at police headquarters. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News.